Peace and love creatives. It's sketchbox time. Yay! Uh, first and foremost, like we always do, here is the art on the front of the box. And the artist is Kendra Peterson. And there's all her social stuff. Well, I guess her Snapchat. No, that's the wrong one. Instagram. There you go. Sorry. Okay. There's her Instagram. If you want to follow her, there's all her stuff. Yeah. Very nice. I like the potion bottle. It looks like a magic potion bottle. Let's get into it. I'm going to move this over to the side. So, first thing I reach for is, ooh, let's keep coming a little closer. There we go. Okay, first thing I have is a watercolor block by Canson. It's the Mont Val, or Val, however it's pronounced. Uh, it's artist series. It says cold pressed, um, strong performance, repeated washes, color lifting. It says 140 pound, 300 GSM. It doesn't say anything about um, cotton. I will take off the plastic and read it without the glare because there's glare. All right, next thing we have is a fancy art palette <laughs> a water uh you know paint palette and we have a copic multi-liner in the color brown and in the size 0 0.1 next we have ooh, pigment powder oh this is fancy and it has like a little, I am intrigued. Okay, this is a signature Sketchbox pigment powder set. Can we see that? Let me, I'm gonna take it out. Okay. Okay, so we have primary blue which honestly, it looks purple. I wanna open it, I'm like so curious. I'm not even gonna look in, it's in the rest of the box. With powder, sometimes it gets stuck on the edges and stuff, so I'm just tapping it to see if that might help. I'm not sure if it will, but it doesn't hurt to try, right? I'm sure it's closed, but you never know. It is, okay, perfect. So it is closed, we'll open it in a little bit. So we have primary blue, primary yellow, and primary red. I figured as much. Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, silver. Oh my gosh. And this is by the company Pearl X. I'm thinking it, it might be all by Pearl X, but we'll see. Ooh. And then we get a paintbrush, if I can get it out. And it is a Sketchbox Original <clears throat> Angle Chisel 3 8 of an inch. And, and there we go. Ooh. Okay. I've been thinking about getting some gum Arabic, and now I think I'm, I'm like set forever with this. I don't think we need much of this. So uh, what it says here is gum Arabic is a liquid binder that when added to Sketchbox Signature Pigment Powder or watercolor powder makes it into a true watercolor. You can let it dry in a pen for easy transfer uh, transport or if you prefer tube-based watercolor, just mix the powder in and apply it to the surface. Um, it helps with water. Wait, it helps. 
control the spread of wet color and can be diluted with water easily. It increases transparency, color intensity, and can add a gloss. Okay, so if you don't want too much of a gloss, don't put too much of that. And then as per usual, the sketch box with the featured art supply. Oh, finally, everything was like stuck together, so I didn't see <gasps> the artwork. That's pretty dope. <sighs> this is really cool. I love the colors that they made. I love what they did here. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. You don't need to see the palette. See the art. Okay, so this is our what's in the box. Nothing else. So I'm gonna move this to the side. And now the artist of the month is Dustin Spang Spagnola. Spagnola, a contemporary visual artist and painter. His current work explores portraiture, the human form, and light through mediums of both spray paint and oil. As founder of 474 Gallery Studio in Asheville, North Carolina. He regularly hosts shows and events to support lo local creatives. His work ranges from fine art on canvas to large, larger than life murals, each one informing the other. Okay, and then there's his social. There's his socials. Okay. Gorgeous. All right. <sighs> So let's read a little bit before we jump into things. Yeah. The Pearl X Antique Silver. Add a bit of sparkle to your work this month with this highly reflective pigment. Stunning on its own or combination with other colors. Yeah, that's happening. Okay, and then the watercolor, acid-free natural white paper. So I'm guessing that it's just um, cellulose paper. It's not cotton. So there's that. Mm. Oh my God, I don't know where to begin. Okay. I know where to begin. Look at the intensity of that color on the top of this. I wonder if oh, it comes off. Waste not, right? I'm going to put this in the garbage so that I don't make a mess. I'm also speeding up the rest of this portion because it takes a long time. So I'm using distilled water uh, to put into the paint just in case my water has little friends that I don't want in my paint. I'm also adding the gum Arabic. Now I'm kind of like uh, figuring out the ratio if I should put water how much uh, pigment I should put I'm figuring that all out by myself because if there is a video I didn't look at it and I'm sure there is but I, I just wanted to jump in and try it because I like diving in before I you know try to read anything or learn anything I, I yeah that's how my brain works anyway um, so I ended up doing a water gum Arabic uh, pigment ratio there this one I did a little bit less water um, a little bit more gum Arabic and then I put in the pigment and I mixed that around now mixing them took a, a bit so I just wanted to let you guys know about that too it takes a while because you want the pigment uh, powder to disintegrate you want it all to be you know gone now in the yellow one I just put gum Arabic and I just wanted to see how they dry um, and in the 
empty pans. I'm just adding different colors to make different colors. So that's what I did there. Unfortunately, where I put the yellow and the blue, there was still a little bit of red from the powder just because it mixes and it goes everywhere, it just gets everywhere. So just be aware of that, aware of that and um, just be careful. You're gonna have a mess. As far as the um, watercolor block uh, from Canson, it is cellulose, not 100% cotton, just to let you know. All right, so here is the water block. The text, there's a little bit of texture on the paper. Um, yeah, so I think it's gonna be nice. All right, so now I'm just going to take the um, sizing off that they used to keep the paintbrush uh, nice and uh, safe during travel. So I'll just swish it around in the water to do that. And I should be able to remove the sizing off perfectly fine with no issues okay so now the brush is it's a pretty stiff brush so that's i think it's a good thing we'll see so what i'm gonna do is because um the colors are intense right now i'm just gonna some of that water okay we'll bring this down bring this down we'll also see how the paint flows okay so we'll start off let's start off with the yellow and this one I just put the gum Arabic I did not put any water And that's pretty good. There's no grain, but I wonder how that's gonna dry because of the amount of um, gum arabic I put, if it's going to be uh, super shiny. This is the red, oof, it's a lot of red. And this one had heavy water light gum arabic and then we're gonna go in with the blue and I don't remember where I put the water, so I'm just going to put more water. And then this blue has a little bit of water and a little bit of gum arabic and a lot of pigment. All right, let's see what color we made here. Well, that's a brown. Ish, brown-ish. Let's see what color we made here. That's still red as anything. That red is super strong. Okay. And let's see what color we made here. That's more of a vermilion, so it's definitely a different color than that, so that's nice. Let's try to get a little bit more blue in this one, see if we can get a better purple. Let's see. Now, there, there's still so much pigment that's not mixed in.
I'm gonna say that we won't be able to lift anything once the paint is down, but let's, let's see. Definitely the paper does not like this. The paper does not like lifting. Okay, so there's that. I want to get some of this uh, silver in there as well. I'm gonna do it now. Oh, the cap is there. Okay, let's give it a little tap before we open open it again. I'm gonna take it from the, the cap. And I'm just gonna, let's see what, what it do. Okay. Okay, it's very shiny. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that on screen, how shiny it is, but it's definitely like pearlescent, as they said. But I'm thinking this is something you definitely add to the paint, like it's that kind of shine. <clears throat> okay. Initial thoughts with this, it's messy, number one, very messy. Um, and I haven't even started like really painting or anything, so. Um, but also there's, there's not that much, there's no instruction here on how to do this and what if I don't want to have to look at a video like what if I just want to get into this stuff there should be a little like a little blurb here on how much gum arabic it says these pigment pa pigments pack a punch mix them with the gum arabic in this month's box to create your own watercolor or use them with water as a staining agent so how much we don't know so that's it's a little off-putting especially if um something like this is a little like this could be a lot for somebody who's getting this in their box and although it's pretty cool it could be a lot for someone to open up their box and see this i'm just saying so it would be nice to have a little bit of paraphernalia talking about how to do it you know Okay, and then this is a color block. So in order to get this off of the block, we're going to have to look for the open part where it does, there's no glue. And on this one, it's actually on the corner right here, which is, I've never seen that before, but I mean, I've, I've seen a handful of watercolor um, blocks. So I guess, you know, it's something that could be more than yeah. Okay. You can use a palette knife to take it off. I just so happen to have my blade right here because I just opened the box, so that's what I'm using. Please use caution when you're doing that because it can be dangerous. Okay, I'm going to leave this on the side. I'm going to make a piece. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit of a quick one because I think that these paints need a little bit of time to set and to be made. So the initial 
painting that you're going to see here is going to be what I do for YouTube and then I'll play with them a little bit further. So what I first did was I saturated the whole entire page and then I um, proceeded to put some paint on the paper. I started upside down so I can start with the sky and it's very, you know, quick and a simple sunset kind of waterscape and that's pretty much all I do. I, I really um, don't do anything else much. Okay, so if you just look at the ones that I added water to, I don't know if you're seeing the movement, but there is still movement in the uh, pigments that had the water. This one seems to have solidified and this one is sticky, but it's it's definitely the the uh, one that's not moving as much. Um, I definitely have to play around with this. Making watercolors is not something that I thought I was going to do today, and um, I'm I'm excited to make the watercolors, but I don't want to have to rush it to put. Uh, the sketchbox video out um as far as value for this box i don't know that's a signature sketchbox thing the palette probably a dollar you know what i mean a dollar 29 they're saying that they're i can see this pi uh, powder retailing for 15 bucks but to be honest with you as far as the information on the bottles, the containers themselves, I wish they did a better job of letting you know exactly, you know, if this was safe, if, you know, all that good stuff. It There's nothing in here saying that. Um, as far as the um, Perlex one is concerned, this one says non-toxic. It says it conforms to ATS, uh, ASTM. It says all of that stuff. So the Pearl X at least has a little bit more information than the Sketchbox. I don't want to assume that uh, Pearl X is the one that made the uh, Sketchbox one because you know what happens when we assume. So I don't want to do that. But the Pearl X is going for $3.49 and this is gonna, this will last you forever. So I think it's, a, it's, I mean, you know, it is what it is. So as far as value for the box, I mean, you're, you have an a, a art and craft section, you know what I mean? Where you're going to make your own watercolors and then you have, um, you know, art. So, I mean, this is awesome. On top of the fact that all I want to do is make different watercolors now. I want to take this gum Arabic and uh, go to a couple of uh, last year's actually sketchbook, I think box, I think it was January that had those um, little containers of the uh, the colorful um, pigment. How's about trying to make a watercolor with that and this? So there's a lot to visit. I would like to do another like um, uh, revisit of this sketch box in the future. Probably not this month month because um, right now I'm doing March Madness on my channel. If you don't know what that is, I'll link something up somewhere so that you can uh, be informed. But um, if you want to see that, like and subscribe. And when it does come up, you'll be the first to uh, know about it. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope uh, that you enjoyed the unboxing at least and what was in here um yeah peace and love